Hey, welcome back everybody. This is Shino. And we're back in our Modded to the Max series. And you ever had your parents tell you, and I'm a, I'm a parent, so full disclosure, I'm a parent. I've had to say this a lot of times. I'm sure you guys have said it too. If you're parents or if you're kids and you're watching me, thank you very much. Um, but you probably had your parents tell you too. Why do you leave such a mess? Why don't you pick up your mess? And now I'm asking myself, oh, I got a mess to pick up. <laughs> so between episodes, I had said, hey, let's get our um, let's get our primitive generator back up. So I had to make another one. Um, luckily, you know, the copper wasn't that big of a deal. I already had quite a bit of brass. So looks like I'm getting cold already. Yep. Let's get a little bit of food. I don't have any food I can cook up. But let's at least heat ourselves up real quick. And probably ought to go ahead and open up another jar. Let's go with that one. There we go. We're doing good. I mean, let's just real quick here. It is January 2nd. January 2nd. We're actually moving through pretty good. Glad to see it. So not too bad. I'm not going to eat yet. I'm going to wait until my... Until I get really low on it. But anyways. I'm warm. Okay. I'm warm. There we go. Um, so between episodes I got that done. And then I wanted to keep it running. So I have gone out and gathered up a bunch of stone. I actually set up a little quarry. Uh, right here. You can see how much of it I've got dug out. I guess it's not a little quarry. It's a pretty big quarry. But I've been digging this out. Um, so lots of dirt. And I'm getting into the stone finally. And cutting it out in big chunks at a time. Uh, as I go, um, I did make the new, uh, or not new, but I did increase the um, pins from the copper uh, to the tin bronze. Uh, so, and I made eight sets of those. So that uh, it's been helping a lot, and, and that'll allow you to do a four by four. Okay. That's enough. But I wanted to do a little bit of a test. So let's take a look at the results. So I've, uh, I've got the wash plant here. And I took an entire chest that was full. And remember, these will hold 512 uh, of uh, a combined uh, inventory of 512. And I had 512 stones uh, in there. Um, but we put we don't put stones in this. We put gravel and sand. So I used a brand new uh, tin bronze rebel hammer. Uh, so it was at 450. So it's at 146. So what's that? Like uh, th uh, 304 durability used off of it. Uh, so 304 durability to convert that over to gravel and sand. And the, the question I wanted to answer was, can you get a positive gain on the durability of your hammer versus what you get out of the wash plant? So that was the question I wanted to answer. Why does it seem so dark in here? It really seems dark. Um, but anyways, uh, let's do that, I guess, maybe. Maybe that's what's doing it. That's weird. Did these burn out? I don't know. Check, but it just seems really dark in here. Um, so anyways, so that's what I did. I uh, used the, the rubble hammer. Uh, turned that down to gravel and sand. I ended up with 107 gravel. I made a note of that because uh, I wasn't very happy. It, was, it stopped producing gravel, and it was just going straight to sand. I thought that was a little odd, but... Uh, so anyways, I put uh, everything I got, 107 gravel, the rest of the 512 was in sand, put it into the wooden chest, and here's what we got from one running. So one uh, iron nugget, uh, 10 fire clay, 25 of the blue clay, and most of this came from the sand uh, right here. Uh, seven sphalerite, and nine copper ingots, and eight uh, pieces of tin. So, no, did not get a positive gain. I did acquire more than a um, an ingot's worth of metal, because you only need 20. So I did get more than that, but not enough durability to replace what was used on the rubble hammer uh, here. Uh, so if I were to do two chests, uh, it would take me two chests of durability on that rubble hammer, uh, to get probably enough to replace one rubble hammer. Does that make sense? Um, so, no, you're not getting a positive gain off of that uh, if you do it this way. So, durability on the rubble hammer, I wanted to see, you know, how's this going to work? Is it going to do me better? Is it better for me to 
uh, to break it down. And you figure with all the durability used on all tools to acquire this, um, and no, you're not, it's not a positive gain. You're still going to yield more uh, by doing regular mining um, in areas, but um, if, and, you know, in an area where we're at right now, we just don't have a lot of minerals around this area and a lot of bad temporal stability down below. Um, this works out better. Okay. So let me get this cleaned up and I'll be back and we'll get on with the episode. I uh, also wanted to add um, fuel wise. Uh, I started out with 48 fuel uh, to burn through that 512 and uh, ended up with 39 left over. Uh, probably could have done it in 40. Uh, you know, because of the, the buildup of energy that was left there. Uh, Water-wise, ended up having to put uh, 20, uh, no, uh, 15 uh, liters of water in there. So, that's, uh, that's that. Alright, I am not done cleaning up yet, but my hammer is broke. And I want to kind of do the same kind of test. And we'll put 256 uh, stone in... Uh, uh, into the macerator and I want to see what it yields off of it. So I'm going to turn that on. I'm going to turn That's already on Yes, yes Yeah, okay, and I'm gonna let that run and see what we get. Okay, let me finish cleaning this up All right, so we're gonna be working on something from temporal tinker in this episode and what I've done is I've gone ahead we're gonna need some more iron so I've got the iron hook going here. There's this. I think I just want to heat that up one more time just to make sure it stays going. There we go, let's keep that going. Uh, I've got some more here that'll get us, uh, I think two metal scraps to make one, so we should be at three more uh, blooms out of that and I'm heating up my lob to chalk is here uh, which that's still not done yet I'm trying to be as thrifty as possible with my charcoal I'm, I've got what I have in my hand plus I've got this pit and uh, I'm out of the wood in bulk I need so uh, I'm gonna have to kind of watch it a little closely okay so let's let that it's almost done so what we're going to be working on is on the electric lantern is what I want to make uh, from Temporal Tinker. So we're going to work on that. And there's also something else I want to do with the summoner, the trade guy over here. Um, so uh, his trades reset every six days. And he had uh, an option of where I could buy these diodes. And I've got four, um, but I need to use some for making um, this tube. And so just previously, he was able where I could actually buy and sell these, you know, to him. Um, ooh, I could buy that zinc battery there. Uh, anyways, I need to get more gears. And I need to get gear, more gears so that I can buy some of these more schematics. So I've heard, and I'm gonna, we're going to test this, you can summon more than one. Uh-huh. And, oh, they they got the same name. They do. But you see their trades are different. Okay? And that's what I was hoping for was, can I get uh, where I have different trades? And I do. So that's perfect. Okay. So I can buy the diodes from him for one gear. And I think I have my gears on me. No, I don't. Let's go get my gears. Oh, hold on. Let's see. That's going. I need you. Let's get let's get this hashed out first. So that is going to be the battery hole. And how many ingots am I going to need for that? Just one. Cool. Okay. Let's rotate that. And let's see if we can get this done here. Perfect. Okay. There's eight of those. And these are... These done? Not yet. Okay. Um, so let's get our gears. Here we 
There we go. And which one of you was it? You can sell, don't want to sell there. You can buy. Alright, so I'm just going to buy two of these. Let's buy four of these. Okay. Alright, let's see. I think the last thing we need is the Malabdachakis. Get this stuff out of my inventory for now. Alright, I'll be back when these are ready and I get them made into plates. Alright, I think we got everything we need. So let's... Let's open up our, not that, open up our inventory, and we'll open that up. Okay, so electric lantern. Oh, and I think I need that chest open too. Too much stuff to open up. Here we go, electric lantern. Okay, so we're going to need to make the battery first. So the battery is going to be two of those, and the four charcoal. Four and two of the zinc rods and one of the copper parts and that gives us two batteries okay and then for the lantern we're gonna need the one battery oh we got to make the electron tubes don't we, we got to make those tubes okay so that's gonna be where I need these at here so two there and those around the top and copper part that gives me two tubes okay so do we have it let's see Malabdachakis there a tube there and this all around boom electric lantern Sweet. Now, do I have enough to make another one? But well, I'd have to get another plate, wouldn't I? I can probably do that. But, let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, does this run out of power? Does it need to be charged back up? And I, it doesn't look like it. So, one of the things that you'll see on some of these tools is you'll see something like this and that's usually telling you got to recharge it to get it back up to full durability 1800 so it'll take two of those batteries to get the electric mining drill back up yes the electric mining drill i'm looking at this i need to check some parts i need to see i think the drill head i can't remember if that needs to be made with steel or if it's something that we can make with iron not sure but yeah there's we got to make the drill head uh, copper parts are easy. I've made some of those already. We just got done making batteries. That wasn't too hard. Um, copper coils through smithing. So this doesn't look like it would be all that hard to make. We've already got the iron ingots. So yeah, just need to check on that drill head and see what it needs to be made out of. So let's uh, let's take a look at that real quick. Let's just put one in here. And uh, do it is. Two, maybe? I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. And my iron is done, so that's good. But yeah, that's a nice lantern. I like that. Now, can we hang this on the wall like this? We can. Well, that's kind of cool. I like it. And if we put it in our offhand, yeah, cool. I like it. Cool lantern. Okay, let me, uh, let's heat this up and I'll come back and we'll find out if we can make this drill or not. All right, let's find out. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on here. It's going to bring this option up and we're just going to run through and see. And no. Don't see the drill head. 
as an option. So that tells me it's probably going to have to be made out of steel, which goes along with pretty much everything else with within uh, Temporal Tinker. Uh, a lot of this stuff has to be made out of steel. So not a big deal. We can now throw this back down there and it's not lost. Okay. Hey, folks, that's going to do it for this episode. This is Shino. Uh, we got through a little bit of the Temporal Tinker stuff. I like having the lantern. That's going to be nice for further adventures. Um, yeah, so we just need this to kind of warm up a little bit and we can get back out and start getting everything we need. Uh, start getting more flax so that we can put this generator to work. All right, folks. Thanks for spending this time with me and we'll catch you next time. Take care.